I'm talking to Stephen Trotter, the UK Managing Director of Power Systems for ABB. Stephen, um, there are many issues for the grids um, for the UK. Are they very different for onshore and offshore? Well, I think the, I think the, two, uh, the, the two come together, certainly with the increase in renewables, uh, both onshore and offshore wind and, and marine. It does present uh, some different challenges for, for the UK grid. Um, we're moving from perhaps very large central generation to much more distributed generation and also because there's going to be changes in terms of the generation mix the grid system needs to be much much more flexible um, to cope with that. I think we've also got the challenge that a lot of the grid was installed um, in the 1960s so there's also a, moderniz a modernization piece to uh, carry out on the grid as well so yeah it needs to be more flexible more robust and of course there's a lot of new technology which can help us to achieve uh, a much more effective efficient uh, grid system. Are there any technology specifically that you think will make um, um, the biggest difference in the next few years? I think there's, there's lots, of, uh, lots of technologies. Uh, ABB and others are progressing particularly high voltage DC technology um, so that's converter stations, cables um, and also now HVDC circuit breakers which will be quite an integral part of a DC grid. And what HVDC does is allow us to transmit power over much longer distances, uh, much more efficiently, so with minimal losses. So that's going to be particularly important. As I talked about, generation is going to be more dispersed, so perhaps we're going to be transmitting it over longer distances. So DC technology is, is, is a key aspect, and that's more on the sort of power side but also lots of new technology on the control side for the grid, making it more essentially computerised, more flexible, um, able to almost adapt uh, depending upon the different, uh, different conditions, different generation, and also changes in terms of how we use electricity going forward, because a key part of the energy strategy is, is, is also around the demand side management and, and how we use it, whether it's electric vehicles, uh, how we're using it domestically as well. With increased renewables on the grid, um, is the market actually going to have to behave in a completely different way, the energy market? Well, I think, um, I'm not sure the energy market needs to behave in, in, a, in a different way. Certainly we see um, a role for all types of generation technology, so an increased uh, amount of renewables. That will present some challenges, certainly in terms of the load flows that I've talked about, so a more flexible system. There's also a, a security of supply issue, but we have that at the moment with a lot of older generation having been um, shut down and mothballed. Um, it's been well publicised that the the spare generation capacity is probably at its lowest uh, for 10, uh, 20 years. So we have a, we have a, a slight security of supply problem um, and, and certainly renewables can play part of fixing that um, but also we're going to need quite a diverse um, generation portfolio. So it's around this flexibility, intermittency that, that are going to be the challenges for grids and renewables as part of the overall energy portfolio. And in addition, there'll be um, the interconnection on a larger network. Will that also be of help? Yes, I mean, uh, interconnection is a, is a key aspect in terms of this diversity and security of supply. So I think, first of all, we've got huge potential in the UK in terms of renewable generation. Um, but, you know, increasingly we're interconnected. We're connected to the market, to the grid in Ireland. Um, we're also connected to mainland Europe. And there's a number of um, interconnection schemes which are in development and, and planning, which will also play an important part in terms of our energy strategy going forward. Thank you very much. Thank you.